All right, so we've got our foundation wall and our foundation footing in, and now we're going to go in and put in some of the isolated footings. So if I go to the example, we're going to put these isolated footings in. We'll also put this wall in a little bit later. Um, but the isolated footings around the edge are what we're going to put in, and I'll let you finish off with these guys in the middle. Um, but we'll do these guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to my top of slab, and if we zoom in here, you're going to see this is F1. So they're showing this as a foundation one. And if we come over and take a look at our set and we go to the footing schedule, you're going to see F1 is 3 foot by 3 foot by 12 inches deep. So that's what we need is a 3 foot by 3 foot 12 inch deep footing right there. So we can use the isolated structural foundation under the structure tab. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to give us several options. Um, if you do not have um, a rectangular footing you can go to load family and go to the structural foundations right and there's a footing rectangular that you can load in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to stop that load um, and go back to my isolated. So basically what we want is we want a 36 by 36 by 12. So I'm going to go to edit type here. I'm going to um, duplicate and of course rename to 36 by 36 by 12 and we'll get rid of that too. Click OK and then I'm just going to update my size to match the name and click OK. Now I can come in and I can place this guy. We don't really have a grid line. You could put a reference line or a grid line or something in there that would um, adjust. You could pick with this but I'm just going to pick the two intersecting grids. We have two grids intersecting right here at the corner and place that centered. I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to stop the placement command and I'm just going to move it over eight and three quarters each way and that'll get me in the correct place. So if I move that 8.75 inches and then move it down 8.75 inches. Right? Okay. So now I've got that guy. Um, now what I want to do is I want to come in and just copy these guys over, right? And you can do the addition however you want to do it, um, or you can <clears throat> just sort of come in and pick this guy and I'll copy him over 3 foot 6, 6.25 and then I can move that 12 foot 5 and 3 quarters. Depends on how fast you are with your math. Right, and now that's in the right place. Now I can just copy this guy down. Right, 3 foot 1.25 and then move it 6 foot 10. The other thing you can do is that most likely it's going to be the same as this, like that was 10 right but so if I copy this down 10 right now the other thing I haven't done yet and I should have done at the beginning is if I select this and I select all instances visible in view it's on level top of slab and I really want that guy to be on bottom of beam so I'm going to pick it and it's going to flip those down to bottom of beam so if we do that in 3D right so if I select this in 3D select all instances visible in view right and we flip that to top of slab you're gonna see them pop up like I could take them all the way up to top of plate if I wanted to so it is one really nice thing when you organize I can now put them in bottom of beam so it's not the end of the world that I didn't have them in the correct place to begin with so now I'm basically just gonna go through and copy the rest of these so um, I feel like you guys kind of get a feeling for how that's going to go. So um, when we come back, we'll work on the floors.